Hi there, this is Anna Prosser here for Kingston HyperX Bat Behind the Scenes with Team Evil Geniuses and Bryce Machine. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Are you excited about the upcoming matches in just a few hours? Yeah, you know, this is going to be the uh, first tournament where I finally get to bump heads with some Koreans and pretty much, you know, looking forward to it, seeing if they really are the best and, you know, just trying to prove myself, I guess. So do you think overall it's a good thing that MLG has gone ahead and added Koreans to the lineup? Yeah, you know, it was getting pretty disappointing, you know, placing well or doing well at all these top uh, MLG events and then, you know, having, you know, that person sitting in the background, well, you know, none of the Koreans were there, so it doesn't really count, you know. You're not you're not over in Korea playing GSL or anything, so now that, you know, we're they are finally here, this is going to feel like more of an accomplishment and, you know, hopefully we still place pretty well. So. Speaking of accomplishments, you did pretty well at the previous MLG at Dallas. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, I ended up taking 15th place overall. Uh, you know, once again, securing my top 16th spot, uh, beating Noni twice. Uh, but, you know, once again, I'm not really one of the players who's in it just to secure top 16. I, you know, I, I came here and I practiced to win. So, overall, disappointing, but uh, it did motivate me. And I've since, you know, made some changes to my play. And hopefully that'll uh, show here in this tournament. And hopefully I can actually place uh, higher this time. What have been some of those changes or ways that you may have prepared for this tournament? Uh, overall, I realized I hadn't really uh, practiced much Zerg vs. Protoss, and that tended to be my, my weakest matchup, the matchup that was kind of holding me back. So I made some adjustments there, and then also uh, practicing a lot of the newer maps that are being used in these map pools, uh, and just basically analyzing my play and spending more of my time on my weaknesses and adjusting to that. Is there anyone that you particularly thought about practicing hard to play against or anyone that you are looking forward to or not looking forward to playing? Uh, obviously, Losira, who's the Korean in my group, uh, you know, I, I really want to place well or play well against him because that'll really, you know, show and say something. But as far as players I don't really want to play against, uh, once again, the whole machine in control curse uh, seems to have played itself out once again. So never looking forward to playing any of my teammates. Uh, of any of the players, uh, Jeff is an extremely cerebral player. He knows my style, I know his style, but overall I have to, to give it to him, the fact that he is able to adjust himself to my play better than I'm able to adjust to his. So even though I think I might have a little bit better mechanics there, he's going to be an extremely dangerous opponent to play. But, you know, hopefully uh, I, I can play well against him and, you know, we'll at least make it a pretty good match. When you go into a match against somebody that you're not looking forward to playing, or even just a match that's important here at a tournament like MLG that's pretty big, do you feel a, a nervousness, and how do you combat that? A lot of the, our, our fans on Twitter want to know. Honestly, I'm, I'm one of those players who's in my head constantly. Uh, I've had really bad nerve issues in the past, but it seems that I'm finally starting to just calm those nerves down. I know that you know, the worst I'm going to do is, you know, I, I lose a few games and I go on and I, I play again another day. So I'm really just trying to focus more on the game and not what could potentially happen. You know, I got to just play through each match one step at a time and really focus on the now. And hopefully, uh, you know, that's been kind of helping me with my nerve issues, I, I guess. And, you know, hopefully I just play to the best of my abilities, I guess. A lot of people have been saying, you know, they wish they could be here. They're so excited to watch how everyone performs. What is this kind of tournament like? Can you tell them about the experience at all? Oh, it's amazing. Uh, you know, being a StarCraft pro, pro, a lot of my friends are, you know, online friends. So first and foremost, it's great just getting to come here and see everybody, you know, uh, play against the best players in the world. I'm, I've always been an extremely competitive person. So... Finally, you know, finally getting to say, you know, I am one of the best players, and I'm playing against the best, and you know, I'm I'm making a, a name for myself. Uh, it's exhilarating to say the least. Being in that top 16 means you get some special privileges, and you kind of get the the posh side of the tournament. How has that been? Uh, I've been riding it so far. I gotta admit, I do not <laughs> want to have to run through that open bracket. That's for sure. Got a lot of monsters just making themselves. Uh, you know, known pushing their way through those brackets. And because I get the cushy top 16, I can lose a few games and, you know, still make it on past the group play. Uh, I got to say, it, it's a lot easier, but it gives me a, a lot more respect for the players that do actually make it through those open brackets. 
Well, going forward, are there any sponsors you want to thank? Any other shout-outs you want to make before we sign off and get you to that tournament? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Intel, first and foremost. Uh, our new newest sponsor, Monster. Uh, Kingston, HyperX. Um, Six Pool Gaming and Steel Series. You know, I wouldn't be here without them. And then I'd also like to give a shout out to all the people who like me. Uh, you know, if you guys like me, I, I like you guys too. Like, you're cool and stuff. And my girlfriend, obviously. Well, Kingston HyperX is the reason that I'm here, and we're really glad that they're sponsoring Team Evil Geniuses. And they've been asking people to complete the sentence if my brain ran on Kingston HyperX RAM. What would, how would you finish that sentence? My brain ran on Kingston HyperX RAM. I would finally be able to macro and micro at the exact same time. <laughs> <laughs> Has Kingston HyperX memory been helpful to you in your preparation? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, I, I had some regular RAM, uh, and then finally Scott, you know, said, we got this Kingston sponsor. You should go ahead, you know, throw a few of their gigs in your computer. I did, and you know, because a lot of what I'm doing isn't just playing StarCraft, I'm also streaming, you know, trying to, you know, optimize my gaming there, getting fans once again. Uh, I can play, I can stream, no problems whatsoever. Uh, it, Kingston's really been a huge help for me and, uh, you know, being a pro gamer. Great. Thanks a lot, Bryce, and best of luck in the upcoming tournament. Thank you very much.